When the Miami Dolphins hired then San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel as their new coach last offseason, the expectation was for the NFL's third worst run game to improve, it did, gaining an average of 99.2 rushing yards per game compared to 92.2 in 2021. But it's not the type of improvement Dolphins fans hoped for, considering McDaniel's previous role coaching one of the best rushing attacks in the NFL over the past five seasons. Miami certainly did its best 49ers impression. Bringing in former San Francisco running backs Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson Jr. the tandem started off promising, but the run game as a whole faltered down the stretch. Neither Mostert nor Wilson is under contract for next season. In fact, the Dolphins don't have any running back under contract entering 2023, but there are options. Running back Raheem Mostert. Mostert was resurgent in 2022 with 891 rushing yards on 181 carries and 202 receiving yards on 31 catches, all career highs. A broken thumb kept him out of Miami playoff game, but he played in 16 games after playing just nine games in his previous two seasons. This should be an easy decision for the Dolphins, who struggled to run the ball efficiently in 2022. They have no running backs signed for the 2023 season. Mostert turns 31 in April but is effective enough as a runner and invaluable enough as a leader to warrant being re-signed to at least another one-year deal. It's possible the Dolphins draft a running back. But general manager Chris Greer has been hesitant to spend significant draft capital on the position since 2016, taking just one running back earlier than the fourth round. Running back Jeff Wilson this will be another critical decision looming for the Dolphins as the 27-year-old Wilson ran for 392 yards on 84 carries in eight games after being acquired in a trade with the San Francisco 49ers. Spotrac lists his market value at one year, $2.9 million, it would make sense to bring him at least into training camp to compete with Mostert and a possible rookie throughout the offseason, Wilson and Mostert proved they could be effective together. There is reason to believe Mostert and Wilson can get the job done with Tugavailoa healthy, and for a far cheaper price than some of the bigger name players on the market. Miami could realistically bring both players back on one year deals, shore up its offensive line, and spend draft capital on a running back to fill out the room, plus add via undrafted free agents.